Welcome to our most recent project, a comprehensive townhome renovation in the heart of the Upper West Side of Manhattan, where we served as lead architect, interior designer, and art curators. We have been working on this home for the better part of three years, and we're so incredibly proud to finally be able to share it with all of you. Today, we will be walking you through some of the details that make this home so special. We'll be focusing on the home's facade, parlor floor, and garden level, and we'll answer some of your most frequently asked questions about the home. This Renaissance Revival townhouse was originally built in 1882. The exterior was drastically altered in the 1970s when the stoop was removed and a new entry created on the ground floor. We rebuilt the stoop, replaced all the windows, fabricated new beautiful steel railings, added a crisp new coat of stucco to the ground floor and restored the entire facade to its original luster. When we sat down to first discuss this house with our clients, they had a few must-haves on their wish list. They had hoped for additional square footage to the home to allow for as much living space as possible, and they also wanted the kitchen, living, and dining room to reside on the same floor. During the architectural planning phase, it became pretty clear that a three-story extension to the back of the house was the ideal means of making this wish list come true. The garden floor was to be extended about 17 feet and the two stories above it were extended about 12 feet. Visitors are greeted by an expansive parlor floor with 10 foot ceilings that houses the living room and entertainment spaces. It's not the most common approach, but we really opted to add the kitchen, dining, and living room to this floor to unify these spaces and serve as the heart of the home. We knew very quickly we wanted to do some kind of a sectional, but instead of doing the typical sectional that one sees, very deep and bulky, we decided to go for something that felt a lot more sculptural while still being super cozy and great for TV watching. Wing walls of the fireplace conceal these linear diffusers of lights that greet visitors in the evening with a soft and really flattering ambient glow. All the plaster is then carried throughout the space into the kitchen and dining areas. The kitchen was designed to float in the center of the space and feel as much like furniture as possible. In terms of materials for the kitchen, we wanted to keep it really timeless and classic. We opted to use these silica tiles on the back of the kitchen for the islands, we did a beautiful waterfall detail that wraps around the entire thing, helping to anchor them and making them really appealing from all sides. The dining area opens into this beautiful little terrace that has a really nice sitting arrangement for breakfast, coffee, and from there you can go downstairs to the main garden. Since this floor was to be the main entrance, we opted to utilize the width of the stair stack to frame out much needed built-ins and a beautiful second powder room. Descending from the parlor floor, we reach the garden level where a lounge and casual home office occupy the back half of the home. This level was designed to be an entertainment destination. In addition to that, the front of that floor has a guest room and its own bathroom, which is a perfect space to greet guests when they come for overnight visits. I'm so grateful to every person who participated in this project and feel so incredibly fortunate to be able to deliver this home to such lovely people who put so much trust in us.